My name is JMO, and I'm attempting the world record for the most hits in a row with a 22 on a 6 inch AR500 steel target. One. Two. Thousand twenty six. Six thousand forty nine. Eight thousand seven hundred and ninety four. Nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine. One away from the world record. Ten thousand hits in a row. This is the lucky bullet. Ten thousand hits. Bullet. Here we go. I just want to say this is for my mom. This is for my dad. Thank you to all the supporters. Here we go. Hey y'all, so as you can tell by the title of the video, we went to the Peddler's Mall. We had a budget of 30 bucks. My two stuff that's under 30 bucks is this cast iron, I guess cast iron kettle. I mean, that's it's pretty thick. And just in case the bullet goes through that, I got some golf balls for four bucks, 12 cents. So we're gonna put the golf balls in there Hopefully that will stop it. So I got this trailer hitch because I think by itself it, it'll be uh, awfully bulletproof. Seems like steel. Seems like pretty strong metal. So. And then in front of that to reduce ricochets and also just like slow down the bullet before it gets there. I got three pretty thick books and all this cost me about $28. So I think it'll do pretty good at stopping a bullet. He's not misogynistic. He just has a yeah. book about women that yeah, we're going to shoot. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Uh, oh, the white dude is targeting the women again. <laughs> but uh, not not the case here. <laughs> just a thick book for $2. <laughs> First up, we have a 22 out of this bolt action old wooden 22. So it looks like mine uh, went less than halfway through the first book, and it looks like it's going to be about in here somewhere. Can you feel it? No. It may have just broken apart. Because it's nowhere to be found. <laughs> but, I mean, it. you see, it went through about that much. So, definitely a ways to go to get even to the metal, let alone through the metal. Now mine, you can see, it, it didn't even make like the slightest dent. Now, we got 9 millimeter. 9 millimeter of a Glock 17, right? Yeah. might have ended up coming out of the bottom because I don't think it would have only gone through never mind <laughs> there's a bullet <laughs> there it is Sick. <laughs> nice so it barely went through any more than a 22 really not that much of the first book so I'm, I'm feeling pretty confident right about now <laughs> And then mine, same exact result right there. I mean, there's much more of a pattern, like it's bigger, the circle's bigger than the 22. But, oh, it did put a little dent, but definitely not much. I gotta say, I think we're both feeling pretty good about ourselves right now. 
after that nine millimeter. Yeah, now 45. 45 ACP, 230 grain full metal jacket out of this 1911. I hit a little low right, but I think that's okay because I think the bullet stayed in there and it tore up most of that book, but I think it's in here somewhere. You can see all the pages fly out and just leave tons and tons of just random pieces of paper. It feels like it's damage. I mean, it is a big it and slow have. bullet. You think it flew out? Looks like it just stopped right there, but maybe it just flew out. It might have just gone into the ground. Curved and went into the ground. Oh wait. Look what I found. Uh, oh it sick <laughs> looking <laughs> look how big it is. So I think it's safe to say it wasn't gonna make it all the way through. Still not not through the first book, so and mine kind of the same result it hit right here that's the nine that's the 45 that's the nine there's a little dent but no dent on the 45 i have one strong pot <laughs> hey you're gonna be able to use that thing when we get done here. <laughs> so now five five six About dead center right here and oh I'm seeing it in the second book and in the third book and out of the third book <laughs> so as you see there entrance right there exit out the third book right there and uh, disregard <laughs> <laughs> but uh I think it might have so they were propped up like this would have hit it but I don't see anything anywhere on it. I don't even see a scratch. So, I mean, it obviously held up pretty well. It definitely hit it. So, we'll have to keep trying at it. Then mine, it didn't fare up too well. It had a big old hole. But it did not go through. So, it's in here somewhere. Broken golf ball. Yeah, you can. It's pretty smashed. I told you you needed something to fill this up with. Let's see if you can see it on the back. Let's see if it's in here somewhere. I don't think so. I mean, I don't, I don't think it, it even hit the back, so it probably fell down in there somewhere or broke apart. New location, and we're here to shoot the 243 into both of our. Uh, what do, you, what do you want to call them? Targets. I don't know. Vote for <laughs> targets. <laughs> oh, sick. Oh, sick. All right. So, for mine, went clear through all the books, pretty obviously. And it missed the silver part, but it did hit the back, and it didn't do a whole lot to it. Broke up a little of that, a little of that black paint, and left the mark. But it did not even come close to thinking about going through. <laughs> Mine. We shot it twice for good measure, right here, because that's where the AR was. Here is the 243, and nothing. Nothing on that side. What about the balls? What do they look like? Show me those balls. Uh, <laughs> There's one. Oh yeah. Nice. <laughs> There's another one. There's a third one right there, at the bottom. Yeah, I'm just looking for a dent on the back or something. And I don't think so. I mean, it, I'm seeing some gray gray spot where I might have hit it but it didn't dent it or anything so we're both sitting pretty 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 
now we're skipping 25 out six and going straight to 300 remington ultra mag this is a 180 grain non slurred partition and look how big that is so hopefully before we shoot this i'm gonna say a mistake on our part we lost the books so we're not gonna be shooting through them we're just gonna be shooting the actual hitch so pat on the back for that one now let's go shoot this i don't think anything's gonna go through dylan's but i'm hoping this will go through mine so let's shoot it we're shooting it out of this remington 700 300 ultra mag I don't know if you could see it, but you could see all the golf balls start flying everywhere. Oh, I hit it low. I hit it low right there. Let's see. Through it. I hope you're pouring it out. Did it go out? Nope. No, I'm saying like, did the bullet go in and then it drop? Deflect it down. Yeah. Shoot it again and shoot it up here. Walk up here and see a scatter of golf balls and then wait. You have your lid. You see, we hit right in the middle. Oh, oh my goodness. You see that? Zoom in on that. That came out right there. That come hey, that shattered it no problem. Oh my <laughs> look at that. Oh my goodness. And if you want a souvenir, there you go. Go play around any point with that. Well, I think mine is safe to say it's dead. And if you want to see the hole back there in the back, it's right there. Now, we got to shoot Dylan's. Oh, I hit it. <laughs> That's the exit. You sure? No, nope, it's not either. It's the entry. entry. Yeah, it's where it looks like it went in this way and then curved out. Deflected off, yeah. You can see mine. It is dead. It's a goner. Dylan's, however, when we shot it, it went in. It eventually did curve off. So I'm just going to go ahead and call this and say Dylan's is the more bulletproof. I mean, it, it's a trailer hitch. It's going to stand up to almost anything. It's a, it's a, it'll stop a lot of stuff. Mine, just a cast iron pot with golf balls. So, for 30 bucks, I think, I think Dylan won. So that concludes our test. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Like, ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the five sticky, come get high with me, that's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the five sticky, come get high with me, that's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet.